Welcome back to my channel. It has been a really long time since I've sat down and talked to the camera, so it's really nice to just catch up. As some of you guys may know, my family and I like to take little family trips during the holiday season, so this past December slash January, we went to Singapore, and this was my first time going there. My sister, and I think my brother has already gone before, but the rest of my family hasn't, so it was really nice to just experience that with them. Before getting into the travel video though, as it was during the holiday season, I wanted to give my sister and my mom some presents so I got my sister some Ana Luisa jewelry I am partnering up with them once again as always I love their jewelry as you guys know so I partnered up with them to gift my sister a couple pieces so check out this cute little unboxing of my sister enjoying her pieces from Ana Luisa oh these are so cute those are the small ones right yeah, yeah they're so cute thank you oh my god these are so cute, <laughs> so cute. The bracelet! It's so cute! It's so small. It's I so love cute. it! So and feel free to check out Ana Luisa in the description box. I have put down a link and you will get 35% off. I'm so glad that my sister enjoyed her pieces. And if you want to spoil yourself or even your friends and family, check out the link down below for 35% off. We left on December 31st and we met up in Tokyo Station so we could all ride the train together to Narita Airport and we had a pretty early flight, it was around 9am. We arrived at 4pm in Singapore and we immediately went to the hotel to drop off all of our bags and we kind of just rested and stayed at the hotel for a bit and then at around 6pm we went out to walk around the neighborhood, just check things out, all the shops, the town, the people and then we had dinner at Songpa which was delicious, the popcorn chicken was so good. If you guys know me, I love fried stuff, so I was very happy to have that. But it was just so delicious and really nice because we were all very tired and hungry, so it was just a great pick-me-up. Afterwards, we went to Marina Bay Sands to watch the fireworks because it was December 31st, but it was around 10 p.m. we got there. It was so crowded and it started raining and we had umbrellas, but we were just like, oh, maybe we don't want to stay here for another two hours and wait for it to hit midnight. So we ended up going home or going back to the hotel at around 11 or like 10 30 and we didn't get to see the fireworks but we did hear it from our hotel so that's nice <laughs> instead of going out in the rain we ended up going back to the hotel watching it on the tv and we were quite hungry at around 10 p.m just because we had an earlier dinner so my dad brought us some mcdonald's chicken and some beer to celebrate the new year the next day january 1st we started lunch at the typhoon i know there was like nothing really open and the places that were open there was a huge line and surprisingly Din Taifong wasn't as crowded I think just because the restaurant was so big and then we went to this cute little cafe because it started thundering and heavy rainfall and we walked around to Ralph's hotel and that area was so so beautiful I loved it and it was so cute we were all just sharing umbrellas together at Ralph's hotel there was this really nice bar called the Writers Club and we had a drink there it was so relaxing and peaceful I loved the vibe there and the drink were so delicious but we did have a dinner reservation at this pecking duck place and it was so good if you guys have watched my other christmas vlogs with my family we basically travel for the food so we always just go to countries or places that are known for their food. Singapore did not disappoint. It was so delicious. Like every single thing that I ate there was just amazing. Later that night, my sister and I actually went out to a bar together because we were quite bored and we we're like, oh, let's just, let's do something. We ended up walking around and stumbled across this little bar, which was really cute. We just had a pina colada. It was a ver virgin pina colada. For day two, my, I really wanted to go to the pool because it was a really nice pool at our hotel, but I was starting to feel a little bit sick. So I didn't want to get under the water because every time for some reason whenever I go swimming and I put I dunk my head into the water I get sick the next day and I didn't want to get sick during Singapore so I was like okay this time I'm just gonna go to the pool and have some breakfast my mom sister and I we all went to go get breakfast at toast box we just got some bread and ate it by the poolside it was so pretty and then we went to the food hall for lunch this was what we were looking forward to the most the chicken rice and Oh, it was so good. We also got some juice there from a nearby fruit stand or juice stand. And yeah, because we were so full, we ended up just walking around. And then we went to the gardens by the bay. But unfortunately, they were undergoing some maintenance. So we weren't actually able to go into one of the exhibitions. So we decided to just walk around the free area. As I said before, that day was really, really hot. So we were just 
dying under the sun and so we ended up going to Miracle Coffee right by Gardens of the Bay and it was so pretty. I loved the lily pads overlooking the whole city and for dinner we went to Palm Beach. We're gonna go get chili crab. I think this was my favorite thing that I ate. They have the spicy marinated crab. <gasps> So good everything there was so good but that spicy crab was delicious and i just i couldn't stop eating it i literally was so stuffed but i was like uh, but i'm gonna have some more and we ended up finishing it i think we had 1.6 kilograms i think of crab at first i think she asked if we wanted like three kilograms and we we're like oh i don't think we'll be able to finish three kilograms so she was like okay but you need at least 1.6 kilograms so we're like okay okay we'll get 1.6 and i feel like that was a little bit too much but i mean i was able to finish it but it was so good. At our hotel, there was actually a very famous, well-known, like, top bars in Asia or something called The Other Room, and it was so interesting. We walked past it so many times without realizing it was a hidden, like, speakeasy. So yeah, we were very confused as to how to find the actual bar itself. We were walking back and forth trying to find the door, and then we saw a gentleman coming out. I was like, wait a minute, is that the door? And we pressed on the little doorbell, and a guy came out, and he was like, oh, do you have a reservation? And we were like, oh, no, we don't. It's our um, but he was able to let us in. They first gave us a little espresso shot and a cute little dropper thingy. I ended up getting the short hoist, which was so delicious. And we had a really fun time just listening to nice music there and relaxing and kind of just gossiping. I went with my mom and my sister, so it was a really nice girls' night. The next day, we went to Hill Street for some pork noodles, and they were so delicious. After lunch, we went to Hodging Lane to just walk around and look at cute little shops. I went into this really cute stationery store and got a couple postcards, so I'll be making my little travel journal, which I'm really excited about. It was really hot, so we ended up going inside a mall, and we just went to TWG Cafe. I got a lychee tea which was delicious so after TWG we went, we went back to the hotel and then headed back to the airport this time though we had a couple hours before our flight so we explored the airport unfortunately the airport water feature was actually closed for maintenance so we missed the whole water feature that it's known for I was so excited to look at it but sadly I could not despite the water feature being closed down it was still beautiful and I really enjoyed just exploring that area and that was my four day trip I wish we could have explored more though, or at least that things weren't closed down, but nonetheless, it's always just nice to catch up with my family and spend time with them, so I had a lot of fun there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and make sure to check out Anna Luisa for 35% off your next purchase, and everything will be linked down below. See you guys. Bye!